In John Niven's satirical novel, The Second Coming, 2011, he presents an imaginative scenario of Jesus Christ's return to the modern world. Through biting satire, Niven targets the racism, misogyny, and other bigotries displayed by some who claim to be Christians. The story revolves around J.C.'s return, his new group of downtrodden followers, and his mission to spread the fundamental commandment, be nice. The novel opens with an intriguing premise, during the 17th century, God takes a fishing trip, leaving Jesus in charge of earth. However, due to the time difference in heaven, by the time God returns, it is the early 21st century. He is astonished to find the world in disarray, plagued by genocide, starvation, and a fascination with shallow celebrity culture. Above all, God is shocked to see that there are f asterisk asterisk king Christians everywhere, highlighting the hypocrisy that has permeated religious circles. Niven's portrayal of God deviates from traditional depictions. This version of God is laid back, embracing the LGBT community, cannabis, and profanity, while harboring a disdain for organized religion. In his heaven, the focus is on love and acceptance, welcoming those who have struggled or felt lost, while vehemently excluding any fundamentalist Christians. God is depicted as a natural-born leader, a heavenly CEO with no desire for worship, as he is already all-powerful. Satan, on the other hand, carries a businessman vibe, akin to the boss of an opposing company. Niven's heaven diverts from the traditional imagery, offering a unique perspective, while his hell remains vividly depicted, combining elements of Dante and Bosch with grotesque physical torture as the norm. Upon its publication, The Second Coming sparked some controversy but received overall praise from critics for its sharp and thought-provoking satire. In this satirical tale, a place exists where homophobes face endless consequences, and even Hitler serves as a waiter in a Jewish restaurant. Amongst the inhabitants are fundamentalists, politicians, and investment bankers, each facing unique punishments. The founder of the KKK endures such a disturbing fate that even Satan refuses to disclose the details. Amidst all this, God endeavors to impart his central message, be nice, to humanity. However, the message has been lost in translation over the centuries. Initially interpreted as the Old Testament's Ten Commandments, it was later misunderstood as a message of rebellion, leading to Jesus' crucifixion. God decides to give humans another chance, and after consulting his senior saints, they agree to send Jesus back to earth. At first, Jesus, enjoying his time with Jimi Hendrix and music, hesitates to return. Nonetheless, he is reborn as a 31-year-old struggling musician named J.C. in New York City, helping those around him in need. He gains followers from various walks of life, from addicts to the mentally ill and even a homeless Vietnam War veteran and a young gay man living with HIV. As J.C.'s mission expands, he realizes he needs a larger platform to spread the Be Nice message effectively. He auditions for the popular TV talent show American Pop Star, overseen by Stephen Stelfox, a monstrously evil record executive similar to Simon Cowell. In this darkly humorous tale, Niven presents a thought-provoking commentary on society and human nature, using satire to convey profound messages about kindness and compassion. In this satirical narrative, J.C. and Stephen Stelfox engage in heated debates over their differing ideologies when J.C. auditions for the talent show American pop star. With his music, charisma, and message of inclusivity, J.C. becomes a breakout star, drawing in viewers and soaring ratings. However, Stelfox resorts to underhanded tactics to sabotage J.C.'s success, leading to J.C.'s departure from the show. Despite this setback, J.C. rises to stardom in the music industry. A year later, J.C. establishes a commune that embodies the values of heaven he once knew. In this inclusive community, everyone finds acceptance, free from judgment. It becomes a sanctuary for outcasts seeking to live by the Be Nice principle, even though it is not without imperfections. J.C. cherishes meaningful friendships with his followers and is about to release his album. However, just as the novel foreshadowed, history seems destined to repeat itself. The growing commune challenges American greed and capitalism, prompting the U.S. government to send special forces to impose order. In their panic, the troops resort to violence, indiscriminately attacking the happy and peaceful residents, resulting in devastation and loss of life, including J.C. himself. J.C. ascends to heaven once again at the age of 33, leaving a legacy of kindness and resurrection.
Despite the tragic outcome, his mission is not in vain. His actions and message inspire many to become believers of the Be Nice philosophy, a grassroots movement identified by injection needles instead of crosses, symbolizing hope and transformation in the face of adversity. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.